Hello everyone, welcome back. Now I've just been cutting the last few blooms off the hydrangea, which I think I might dry out and use them for maybe a Halloween um, arrangement in the house. But I've just cut them all off the hydrangea because I want to plant it up with some autumn flowers. Now the weather has certainly taken a turn and we're looking very autumnal now. The perennials are slowly going into dormancy after working really hard during the summer. And a lot of the annuals now, you'll see that they're slowly dying off and fading away. But all is not lost. We still have the lovely autumn plants we can enjoy. I've got some here. I've got some lovely chrysanthemums. And these are going to be a very pale yellow colour. And I've tried to pick all the plants where they're still in bud. And that way you can enjoy the plants for longer. And these ones, you can still smell them, even though they're just starting to open. They look absolutely beautiful. I've also got some um, cyclamen here. I did have some that I planted in the border um, in a previous video, in the raised bed here, sorry. Um, but the weather was uh, looking a little bit on the sunny side, and I know they don't like too much sun. So I planted them in the pots on the patio outside my back door. And also I've bought two packs of these and some lovely pansies. And I do like these pale colours. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put these. I do like that velvety colour. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in my raised bed. Now they say the way to tell the difference between violas and pansies are if there is one petal pointing down and four pointing up, it's a pansy. If there are two petals pointing up and three pointing downwards, it's viola. But to be honest, sometimes even I can't tell the difference. Um, either way, they're a lovely little plant. Um, the only thing with these, you've got to be careful, they can go very leggy. Um, but all these plants will last until late autumn, until we have signs of an early frost. So I'm just going to put these trays on either side of the hydrangea and then I'm just going to start planting them out. And that way I've got equal amounts of flowers on both sides of my raised bed. Now it says the chrysanthemums are going to be 15 centimetres high by 30 centimetres wide. The cyclamen are going to be 18 centimetres high by 14 centimetres wide. And the pansies, and they're going to be 15 centimetres high by 20 centimetres wide. But I think they'll all look lovely in the bed together. Right, so I've just spaced the plants out there. I haven't planted all of them in yet. Um, I've zigzagged the, chrysan the chrysanthemums at the back and I've alternated the um, cyclamen and the pansies at the front. There's also enough pockets in between the plants that I've got enough spaces to plant my bulbs ready for the autumn, which hopefully I can do that next week. But I think it looks really pretty like this. So I'm going to plant them now and then um, stand back and have a look. Now that looks so much better and I think with all these lovely colours against the dark fence I think it will just make this border pop. But these hydrangeas now I'm going to put in the shed and let them dry out and I can use them for future topics. Hopefully um, I'll be able to use them for Halloween. We'll see how they look in the Halloween arrangement. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.